As Kevin Johnson enjoyed Thanksgiving with his parents who visited from out of town, the Browns cornerback reflected on what he has endured this year. I'm feeling blessed that I was able to overcome what I came through, able to get back on the field and help the team win, Johnson said Friday during a phone interview with the Beacon Journal. COVID-19 has made 2020 a year no one will soon forget. On top of all the chaos the pandemic has caused, Johnson suffered a frightening freak injury, a lacerated liver, on August 19, when rookie tight end Harrison Bryant inadvertently fell on him as they went for the ball in the end zone during a training camp practice. I couldn't even lift a weight or do a push-up for about six weeks, Johnson said. Roughly four months after Johnson spent two nights in the hospital to guard against internal bleeding, the Browns are counting on him more than ever. With standout cornerback Denzel Ward expected to be sidelined for a few weeks by a strained calf suffered in last week's 22-17 win over the Philadelphia Eagles, Johnson is expected to ascend from his nickelback role and start opposite Terrence Mitchell beginning Sunday when the Browns 7-3 visit the Jacksonville Jaguars 1-9. Johnson couldn't help but chuckle a bit when asked if he sees himself rising to the occasion for the defense against the Jaguars akin to the way Olivier Vernon did against the Eagles. Vernon tied a career high with three sacks, including one for a safety, and captured the AFC Defensive Player of the Week award while fellow defensive end Miles Garrett missed his first game of the season with COVID-19. In Jacksonville, the Browns will be without their two best defenders, Garrett and Ward. I don't want to put any pressure on anything, but for sure when I envision myself playing in the game, I envision myself playing at a high level, Johnson said. I think any player with confidence and with high expectations for themselves is looking at it in that way. Confidence is hard to come by when a player doesn't feel like himself, though. Johnson missed the first two games of the season while recovering from the lacerated liver and returned to practice on September 21. I really had to get back adjusted, get my strength back, get my wind back, he said. It was taking a little bit for me to just get my body back caught up with the game speed and the energy I've got to exert playing ball. Even after Johnson logged 37 of the defense's 64 snaps 58%, in his first game action this season, a 34-20 win over the Washington football team on September 27, the Browns pumped the brakes. He didn't play defense the following week in a 49-38 triumph against the Dallas Cowboys on October 4. Javier Thomas handled nickelback duties. Just me getting back acclimated. Just trying to get caught up, Johnson said of being limited to just four special teams plays against the Cowboys. In the six games since then, Johnson has played 270 of the defense's 393 snaps, 69%, he said he has felt like himself for the past month or so. That seems like ages ago, when Johnson suffered the lacerate liver, Browns coach Kevin Stefanski said Friday on Zoom. He has given us really good reps. He practices really hard. He's ultra prepared. I'm excited for him and his role. He's done a nice job. I think he's well past the liver injury and I think he's hit the ground running. Johnson joined the Browns in March by agreeing to a one-year, prove-it deal worth $3.5 million. He has 24 tackles, a pass defense, a forced fumble and a half sack in eight games. He is ranked 76th among the 125 cornerbacks ProFootballFocus.com has graded this season. Ward, a pro bowler as a rookie fourth overall draft pick in 2018, leads the NFL with 15 passes defensed and is 13th in PFF's cornerback grades. Johnson realizes he has big shoes to fill, and he believes he can do so adequately. Whatever is asked of me, I'm going to be ready for it, Johnson said. That's my mindset. This is not something I haven't done before, and I feel good about playing outside cornerback, it's just about going out there and playing ball. A first-round selection, 16th overall, of the Houston Texans in 2015, Johnson had been in the midst of a strong training camp when he was hurt. Although the injury was rare, Johnson being injured isn't unusual. He broke the same foot twice, sprained a medial collateral ligament in a knee and had concussions earlier in his career. Johnson is convinced the adversity has made him mentally stronger, and his mindset has been especially useful as of late. Five Browns players, including four defenders, will miss Sunday's game because they're on the reserve COVID-19 list. They are fullback Andy Janovich, went on the list November 16th, Garrett, November 20th, backup defensive end Joe Jackson, Tuesday, starting linebacker Sione Takitaki, Wednesday, and backup defensive end Porter Gustin, Thursday, Jackson, 
Taki Taki and Gustin testing positive for the virus on three consecutive days through the practice schedule out of whack in the build-up to the Jacksonville trip. Because of contact tracing protocols, the defense and offense were separated Wednesday, then defense worked remotely Thursday. Both sides of the ball didn't get on the field together until Friday. This is a completely different year, Johnson said, and we're just kind of taking the punches how they come. The response of the Browns has given Johnson the feeling they have something special. He has been a member of four postseason teams, the Texans in 2015, 2016, and 2018 and Buffalo Bills in 2019, and the Browns are in the thick of this year's AFC playoff race. I think the most important thing that I'm seeing within our team is we're gelling as every week goes on, Johnson said. You have to understand, too, this is a new team, a whole new coaching staff, a whole new system, so the fact that we're continuing to grow as a team, as a defense, as a unit, week in and week out, is big. I feel like that's a big part of playoff teams and playing playoff football, playing your best football in November and December. So I think this last stretch for us is big, and we definitely, without a doubt, have what it takes to be a playoff team. Overcoming the loss of key defenders and handling business against the Jaguars would check another box for a franchise attempting to end a 17-year playoff drought.